like I say, I was being held against my will and basically being, they wanted me to sign everything over. And pretty much Vietnam, um, the DC wings over Vietnam, spookies, um, they actually referred to the black people, I think, or something like that. Uh, they would say spooks, you know, black people um, or something like that. I don't really know. Um, like I said, the gunships, I had one of those gunships, um, but it was old. Um, like you see in some of these videos about the videos of Vietnam, it was old. It was, it was retired actually. Um, I had used that gunship somewhat. Um, like I said, I had the Volk, the, the, the mosquito and I had a bigger mosquito and some other stuff. And there was also some gunships where they would shoot out the back, but you couldn't really get a good fire angle. Um, the problem was the wing was always in the way. Um, but it, wor it worked pretty good for between like like 1925 and like 1940 or so. And like I had one or two, basically, I think. And then later on, I had four. And then at some point in time, I started selling them because I because I forget when the when the when the C-130 Hercules, like I actually had the C-1 Hercules, C-2 Hercules that um like like a lot of the, a lot of these shows they talk about the C one thirty thirty Hercules came out in nineteen forty seven. It's like, actually the C the Hercules had actually the the C one thirty had a, or that class of helicopter I mean aircraft not helicopter aircraft had actually been out for quite some time. There is the there is the 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 C the the C one. Hercules or whatever it's a, it's a it's a big style four engine aircraft there's the one the two the three the four the five you know the, there's a whole set of them you know uh all the way up to you know the, the 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 that's that type of aircraft you know it went through a whole range of changes basically until it became the c-130 and then we kind of skipped some numbers and then it became the c-130 Hercules um I think I forget what the c-130 meant basically um I think I called it, uh, well, uh, well, I did this weird DC, Ace, DC three. Um, I think I went, went by DC numbers. I forget, but there's these numbers I went by. Um, and that was a subset and I was coming up with it and just figuring it out. I, I was kind of like doing it, doing it by ear. A lot of times I was like, mm, I'll name it this. Oh, I guess I'll name that, that anyway. So we get up to the, uh, there's the, there's the DC-3, which was a great aircraft and served for a very long time. And then finally it was getting old. And and I really didn't like the air-cooled engines. I was like, you know what? I really don't like it. Like, like, like I liked the, um, the, the, the piston engine. Now and, and, but, but we were still kind of working on it. And um, I think I, well, I'm pretty sure I had them. It's just that I had them in the two engine and I wanted to make a four engine big cargo plane anyway i uh th there's times when when i was building in money i was building in in financial resources you know where i was getting to be more and more and more i mean i was always fairly rich and fairly wear off but but i was going from being a, a very rich person or a very rich life form or person to basically like i mean there's a spot where i kind of like redid my whole existence basically where i'm rebuilding you know, and, and I'm going from being really rich to basically being like very rich and my companies are taking off. Everything's like doing really good. And, and I've, and I'm, and I'm like being very careful with the numbers and I'm very, being very careful about what I do. And anyway, and then I decided to go ahead and build the big um, thing. And basically we, we we're shooting cows. They shot at a tank. They were shooting at tanks. You know, I had a bunch of old tanks and, and, and I'd have them drive up on a hill they cleared this big hill, they put up a fence, and everyone knew that that was the hill that they shot at. So then they would they would go and park a tank there. And and the and the aircraft would come by and there was a training thing. There was a there, there was this hill where, where they would shoot at the shoot at the at the at the um at the, at the tanks and at the cars and stuff. They would park old cars up there, they'd park tanks up there, they parked a steam engine up there one time and did all kinds of stuff. And a small steam engine. But uh, and then they would shoot at it. Ding, 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 ding. And they would also measure how many holes and how big the holes were. We were messing around with, with, with ammo types and all kinds of stuff. You know, kind of like redoing what we did in Germany only with America. So we were just redoing everything. Just playing around, really. I mean, there wasn't really any all that much war. Like, like I mean, I, I own China. Or I would own China in the end. And, um, 
And like I say, I love the Chinese. They're really hard workers. They're really good people. You know, they just had to build schools. They had to get updated. You know, I mean, ch turning the world from basically pretty much low tech to basically pff, high tech and everything. You know, that takes time. It's a lot of effort. So anyway, though, but, um, but basically a whole bunch of people in Vietnam were trying to overthrow the governments, apparently. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But basically, I was building this road, like half of it was, was what's called, and there's also this problem with this road. There's this road, it turned out to be mud, and there's also mining and stuff like that going on in, in around in China and Vietnam, and there was this road, it turned out to be mud, this whole hillside like moved on them, and like it flooded, and, and there was like this big storm, and they had to sandbag it all, and and they had to like reinforce this bridge or something like that there's this bridge that, that that was old and rickety and they had to like rebuild the bridge and that took time and there's all these bridges that were being done and they were basically updating the whole place and um you know turning it to what it looks like basically now anyway it's a lot of work and um and like the chinese were were with it and the americans and there is and there was um there's germans in there too and stuff like that i mean they kind of do like this whole false advertising Anyway, and I went went to the big aircraft, and sometimes, you know, there were people that were doing raids or something like that. And, of course, Nixon and John McCain, you know, they were down there doing something. So, anyway, basically, I mean, like, 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 I, like I say, I mean, John McCain and Richard Nixon and Jimmy Carter, they didn't name America. They didn't come up with the word America. And there was this whole point where, where, where basically JFK was, like, pretending he was me. And like, and like he named America like he was me. And people actually kind of believed that he might be me or he might be something good. And then he turns out to be this world's worst, most horrible person. And, um, and like he named the country something and I'm being held against my will. I'm about to be killed because everyone thinks he's me or something like that. And eventually it comes out that he's not and he's a psychopath. And then, you know, I'm rescued and saved and everything else like that. Because Germany knew who I was. So anyway. So that's what was happening, and I was switched and or whatever, and basically people, no one knew that I was me, and people thought that he was me, or because he lived inside the White House or something like that, or was staying at the White House. Anyway, so nobody knew, um, and uh, I was, and they were planning on killing me, and everything. So before anybody could ever know who I was, anyway, and they were attempting to overthrow the governments or me.